Italian cuisine has influenced food cultures around the world. And for Italians, food is considered an art form. Whether you want to travel to Italy or have Italy come to you. Robert Gallio is here to tell us about Italian culinary tours. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So how did you get so involved and engrossed in Italian food and culture? Well, it starts with my mom being born in Sicily. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Growing up <laughs> Italian, uh, Sicilian home, both sides. So I'm 100% uh, Sicilian which means I'm 50% Greek, I'm Arabic, <laughs> I'm Norman, I'm all kinds of things. And the food was a focus. Very much so. All right, well, let's start with the traveling aspect sure. of what you do. Tell us about the tours that you take over to Italy. Well, uh, I was a, actually a banker for, you know, stocks and bonds, you know, oh trust, my. that sort of thing for 25 years. But when I met my family there in Sicily and reconnected what was separated after 100 years, mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I need to keep coming back. And then I started to bring people with me. And then the next thing you know, well, I should just do this as a, a side business. Oh. And then the next thing you know, it's like, what am I waiting for? Right. This is a way more <laughs> yeah. fun so than banking. Oh, I, but I you don't, think. you don't yeah. just bring people to the places that you can find in a tour book. You have very yeah, specific I've, locations to choose. It's a boutique uh, business where it's sort of like an all-inclusive in a villa, a 500-year-old villa. Oh. But there's only 10 people. So our chef cooks for 10 people, mm. 8 people oh, sometimes, wow. and that's it. So if they want to go jump in and help chef learn something, they're more than welcome to that. A lot of times the guys are smoking cigars by the pool drinking wine, <laughs> and the gals are inside. How but fun. it's really laid back, and we, we look for people who have already been to Italy several times. Mm -hmm. This is like settle in, learn the culture, meet the local people. Right, like actually living there. That's right. right. Okay, yeah. but not everyone is available to travel overseas, of course, so you actually bring Italy into people's homes. We, we do, Tell actually. us about that. I read this book, How Italian Food Conquered the World, oh, geez, six years ago now. And John's an author who is a well-known food critic uh, for Esquire and has written many books. And I, it really resonated with me. It was sort of my family story. Mm. And basically, it's, it's why did this food become so popular? Well, I had been studying the history of this food. And a lot of people don't realize Italy wasn't a country until 1861. Oh. It, it was many different areas right. and lots of regional. And we just got a little skewed from all of those southern Italians, like my family, that came to America. We don't really understand all of Italy. Right. It isn't just spaghetti. There's many other <laughs> different got that things right. there. Yes. North and South exist there as well. That's right. right. That's so right. when you go into someone's home, you bring dishes, obviously. Right. But I understand you also talk about the book and yeah, kind of tell it's some stories. Fun. It's like it's, a theater? It's sort of like dinner theater in your home. It's a concept okay. dinner. And in fact, uh, we, we donate a lot to local charities and they auction it off. It's a lot of fun. I tell stories in between each course and I make everything from scratch. And I'm Let's actually talk cooking. about the food for yeah. a second. Yeah. <laughs> We're all Joey wants to dig in. What did you bring here as an appetizer? This is caponata. It is a, it's sort of like a relish dish oh. in Sic Sicilian. It has sort of a Spanish origin. You know, Sicily's been occupied by nine different civilizations throughout its history. And it's, it's sweet and sour. It's got olives, uh, capers, it's beautiful. all kinds of yes. things. And then, of course, tiramisu, yes. which we are sure. all... Now that yeah. you said it, we can find the way. Tiramisu was actually a breakfast. It was designed to be for breakfast. It had the coffee, the but cream, of course. The, oh. sugar, the, um, the biscuit. Um, and they don't really know the author, but it oh. starts showing up, or uh, the creator of it, but it starts showing up in cookbooks around 1960. Oh, wow. So it's not Just that the best old thing I've ever about. tasted. So as oh. we dine, and if you were to have Robert over and he would be dining with you in your home, there is also musical entertainment. Well, that's so, a must. Uh, okay, tell us know, about that. If you've been to Italy, you know it takes about three and a half hours just to have dinner, you know. So we start with uh, uh, elegant flute playing or some things like that as mm -hmm. the guests arrive. And then in between uh, each dish, I tell the origins, stories from the book, and uh, the singer then performs through each chorus. And Antonella is here to do that for us oh, today. So yeah. Antonella, please take it away while we dine. Stiva mienza tre o quattro chantose, parlavo francese a così. Fu la tiera catacci incontrata, 
Fu la tierra tu le daño this is all part of an Italian culinary experience you can have in your home or you can enjoy a tour of Italy as well. You can go to the Italian Culinary Tour website for more information. We'll be right back.